Hey everybody, John here from Incomesh.com. This video is going to be an advanced tutorial on how you can create a sales funnel to sell your Tutor LMS courses. Now, if you're not sure what Tutor LMS is or if it's right for you, I have an entire blog post about the tool in the description below, so be sure to check that out. And also, if you want to get more tutorials, whether they be very beginner or advanced, I do this every single day. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button to be part of the community. All right, so when I say sales funnel, what we're going to do here is we're going to take the existing Tutor LMS functionality and absolutely supercharge it where we can customize where visitors go based on what type of products they've purchased, they've enrolled in, and we can take them through this entire customized sales journey to increase our conversions and our average order value as marketers. Okay, so what tools are we going to use to get this accomplished? Well, the only tools we're going to need are WooCommerce, which is 100% free. Cartflows, which we'll use the free version in this tutorial, but I definitely recommend you get the premium version because it opens up a ton of possibilities for your business. You'll also need WP Fusion, and WP Fusion is a super advanced, super cool tool that just ties everything in your WordPress website together. And you can pick your own CRM of choice. In this video, I'm gonna use Groundhog because I think that when you put Groundhog and WordPress together, it is just such a cool little combination here. So. The ultimate goal is when people view your course on the course index page, when they click on it, if they don't have access to that course, I don't want to take them to that course page, which is nice. It looks good, but it's not really designed for selling. I want to take them to my own custom sales funnel, which will be designed exactly for selling as well as being able to link to upsells and downsells. And once they've made their purchase, I want to then direct them right back to the course so they can go ahead and enroll and start learning. Okay, let's build that funnel out together. So the first thing we always want to do is just go ahead and make our product. So we'll go to Tutor LMS, we'll go to courses, we'll make a new one, and we'll call this, uh, and let's just give it one little lesson. All right, click new lesson. I'm also going to use the embedding video source feature here. So I'm going to go to select video source, embedded, and I'll put a video source in here. All right, I'll hit paste, and let me say this is a 5 minute and 41 second video. All right, done. Okay, so I am not going to link this course up with a WooCommerce product. And because I'm not going to do this, I'm actually gonna have more flexibility in how I sell this. I can actually sell this now as a bundle. I can sell this as an upsell, as a downsell, and I don't have to link it to a single product here. I'll show you how we're gonna protect it in just a second, but there's a few more pieces of groundwork we need to do. Let me publish this course. And now I'm gonna come over to my CRM, in this case, Groundhog, and I'm gonna create a new tag that's gonna indicate the user has access to the course. So I'm going to call this Sales Funnel 101 Purchased. I'd also recommend you add one that's refunded, uh, you know, Sales Funnel 101 Refunded. This is just good nomenclature to keep your, uh, your contacts organized. Okay, so I have our tag. The next thing I need is I'm going to want to go into WooCommerce and actually create the product that's going to be linked to this course. So I'll come here, I'll click Products, Add New. Sales Funnel 101 course, and I can give this a price. Let's say this is going to be a $97 course. And under WP Fusion, if you've installed WP Fusion and you have the premium version, which you can get with my affiliate link down below, you'll be able to go in and actually give them a tag upon the purchase of an item. So here I want to give them the tag of Sales Funnel 101 purchase. The reason why I said you also probably want to do one for refunded is because they have the ability for tagging your contacts based on those actions as well, which is super nice. Okay, so we have our product, we have our tag, we have our course. Now it's time to link them together and build the sales funnel that will actually make it all happen. So what I'm going to do is come back into Tutor LMS. I'm going to go back to that course we just created. So here's Sales Funnel 101. And just notice real fast here, this, this lock, there's no lock on this course at the moment. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to come down over to the right hand side or yours might be below or somewhere else, but you'll see a WP Fusion block and you can say users must be logged in to view this course. And we can go ahead and say they must have sales funnel 101 purchased. Okay. Now, what happens if they don't have it purchased? We're actually going to, instead of just say, you can't access this course, we're going to redirect them to the sales sequence for this product, which in hindsight, I probably should have created that first because I don't have any place to redirect them right now. So let me just make a mental note. I'm going to update this course. We're going to build the sales funnel, and then we'll go and link the last thing together here. Okay, so let's go into cart flows. And I know we're using a lot of tools and we're going pretty quickly, 
but this is a very intuitive process once you've done it once or twice. So let's go to our ready-made templates and let's just pick a very simple template here. I'll go to this evergreen product. Okay, and now we've imported the product. Let's go ahead and call this sales funnel 101 flow. And let's do a couple of things here. So I'll update it first. What I wanna do first is go to my checkout page and edit the checkout page to make sure that when they purchase, they're getting access to the course. So here, if I type in sales, I'll see sales funnel 101 course, and the rest is okay for me. The last thing I wanna do here is let me go back to my flow, and I want to uh, name the landing page something that I can find it easily and send people to. So I'll call this sales funnel 101 uh, sales page. And let me edit the, the permalink as well for sales funnel 101. I'll hit OK. And I'll hit update. And I'm not going to go and customize the design. You can do that and sell it however you want to sell it. But what's important here is when I come back into my course, I want to make sure that if the user does not have access, you'll notice here that this course is now locked. They need to have that specific tag in order to access the course. So what I'm gonna do is come into the course itself and adjust my, whoops, adjust my WP Fusion settings such that if they do not have access to the course, I'm gonna redirect them. And I'm gonna redirect them to the first step in my sales funnel which is down here under cart flow step. Here's the sales funnel 101 sales page we just created together. I'll hit update, great. And what I want to do next is, this is simply a user experience thing. When they're done making their purchase, I wanna be able to send them directly into the course they just bought, right? That makes sense. So I'm gonna take this URL of the course page itself and I do apologize, we're kind of bouncing back and forth between Tutor LMS and um, the cart flows tool, but that's sometimes how these things go. I'm gonna come into this uh, sales funnel we just built, and on the thank you page, you obviously want to thank you, thank them for their purchase, but make it easy for them. They just gave you money, so make it easy for them to get into the course they just purchased. So we're gonna go and edit this with El Elementor. Got it. Okie dokie. So let me go here and just put a button in, and we'll call this access your course here. Center it, let's put the URL for the course in. And so what should happen, if all the plumbing is done correctly, when they make the purchase on the previous page, WooCommerce is going to add a tag to the user. And that tag is going to be the fact that, hey, I now have access to this page. So when I click the link and I send them over to the course page, WP Fusion is going to do all the heavy lifting of saying, okay, what tags does this person have? Okay, it has access, let them see the page. If it did not send it, if, if it didn't send the tag properly, it's gonna link them through the uh, sales funnel again. We wanna make sure we test this and make sure it's all working as expected. So what I wanna do is exit to the dashboard. And now let's test this. And it's important to test in an incognito window. So here I'm gonna open up my, my website in an incognito window. And let me see here, it looks like I'm logged in. So let me log out. Okay, so here I am on my online learning management course, and so I'm gonna to go to my course archives. So you can still browse. I didn't add a uh, <laughs> didn't add an image here. I should have done that probably. Um, but when I click on this, what should happen is because I don't have access to the course, it should direct me into the sales flow. Let's see if it does that. Perfect. So it takes me directly into the cart flows step. And so I can see, I can learn about the course. Now you can see this is a better experience for selling products because you don't have to be in this rigid structure of how many hours is the course? How many lessons is the course? Some people can get turned off by that. You really want to sell them on the transformation of taking your course, not on the quantity of stuff they're getting. We all have too much in our lives as it is. So we can scroll down here and let's go ahead and say, get started now. Obviously you wanna make sure your pricing is the same. <laughs> So we'll go now and we have, I've set up my test account so we can make a test purchase here. I'll go ahead and fill in some details for you. All right, so I filled in my details and this is why I really recommend CartFlows Pro if you want to do this type of a process because this is just asking for too much information, right? Like this is too much for purchasing a digital product. I don't need to know your phone number. 
right? I, honestly, I don't want to talk to people on the phone. I'm an introvert like that. But you don't need to know where they live unless it's EU, like European Union um, value added tax and things like that. But ultimately, all you really want is maybe their name, their email address, and most importantly, their credit card information, right? Let's just be honest. So I'm going to come in here and fill in the credit card details and place my order. I also have um, created a new account here. So let's go ahead and place our order. And I'm taken here to the thank you page. So when I click on access your course, I want to be able to go directly into the course itself. And here I did that on purpose, right? So I'm actually looping around and there's a reason for this. If you haven't set up WooCommerce yet, there's one thing you really need to set up in the settings area uh, that we'll do right now. So when I come back here to my WooCommerce settings, and I honestly kind of overlooked it because I've set this up so long ago, but under accounts and privacy, you want to make sure that if people are purchasing, they can't place an order without an account. That was my mistake there. So I want to allow people to log into an existing account when they're checking out. I also want them to be able to create their account during checkout. Okay, so I've made those small adjustments inside of WooCommerce. I'm going to come down here and hit save, and we'll go through that purchase process one more time. So this is good. You can see how it's not supposed to be. So now here I am. I'm going to come back in and go to the home page. And you can see here, I'm still logged out. So that's why this didn't really work as I wanted it to, because the user wasn't created and the tags were not passed. So let's come here to our course archive. We'll come back into the sales funnel 101. All right, so I'm on the sales funnel. I'll go to the call to action and I'll get started now. So now you can see um, it has the returning customer log in here. So if you have an account, you can log in. Otherwise, it will create a new account for you on this page. So now I'm going to go ahead and use a new email address just to make sure everything is unique. And let's check out one more time. Okay, so everything looks good. Here's my price. Here's my information. I'll go ahead and place my order. Okay, so now I can see that my account has been created. My order has been received. I'm looking at my email address on the other side here. So we saw what happened when the tags weren't passed correctly. Let's see what happens when they were. Now I can access my course. And you can see here, you can enroll in it right now. So I'll click on Enroll Now. And now I can go through and I've got access to the course instantly. It'll also now show up in my enrolled courses. I can see here, Sales Funnel 101. And I can go ahead and start the course. And it'll take me directly to that lesson. And here you can see also the um, embedded feature of custom video hosting. So you have all the you know, customization you really want to build that experience for your users individually. This was a little bit of an advanced tutorial. We covered a lot of different tools, WooCommerce, WP Fusion, Tutor LMS, Groundhog, even for just a little bit. But what we created was the ability for us to sell our courses in a way more flexible and conversion optimized way than what is built in directly to any one of those individual systems. So this is one of those where the sum is greater than the individual part put together. Uh, what you can create here is a lot of customization and a lot of power with your marketing online. All right, guys, I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. If you are a little bit confused on what tools you should be using for your business, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. It's IncomeMesh.com slash stack. I've created a very simple 90-second quiz that helps you figure out what the right digital marketing tool sets for your particular personality types and what you're trying to achieve with your online business. So be sure to go check that out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.